Conor O'Shea will be all too aware that the World Cup could have placed even greater demands on his squad. The likes of Ugo Monia and Chris Robshaw certainly had hopes of a trip to New Zealand and both played their part in the try, which backed up O'Shea's claim of a commitment to English youth. Nick Evans and George Lowe also doing their bit to send 21-year-old Sam Smith from Epsom over in the corner. That more than matched Freddie Burns' early penalty for Gloucester, and after that, Quinns found a variety of ways to turn the screw. Soggy conditions at the stoop suited their forward dominance, and when flanker Luke Wallace, who's only 20, applied the finishing touch to an impressive drive, the Cherry and Whites were red-faced. One more Burns penalty was all the response they could muster, and from 18-6 up at the break, the home side cruised home. Not that everything came off. Evans created an opening for either Mike Brown or Monia, which neither managed to take. But that was a minor hiccup, and before long, the Quinn's machine was running smoothly again. Monia over for his third try in as many games does wish he was somewhere else, he's hiding it pretty well. That score also confirmed a third straight win, the first time in eight years that Harlequins have started the season so successfully. With the backs in danger of stealing all the credit, the pack rolled onto centre stage once more. Another pushover, and once again Wallace was the last man to his feet. That meant the bonus point, but not the end of Gloucester's suffering. Performance head coach Brian Redpath, later described as embarrassing, was punished one more time with five minutes left. Their ramshackle defence breached rather too easily by replacement hooker Chris Brooker for a fifth try. Amid an unpredictable start to the season, only Harlequins can claim perfection, but don't try telling O'Shea that. 